We got dead Bowser. Um, not sure what his name is, but he's dead. And I already killed Bowser. So... Uh, yeah. I already kind of took him. And we kind of already described what happened with Dry Bones here. So... Okay, so now we got fucking Donkey Kong if he was cool and born in the 60s. Um, this is the kind of Donkey Kong you would see in the movie Grease, where he probably does musical. Um, I, look, I've seen Grease, and I, there's a fight scene in that movie, I'm pretty sure. He ain't got Jack, dude. What the fuck? Whoever scripted that fight didn't know shit, and they were bad at fighting. And honestly, I'm not letting that slide. How about I grease up these hands for your face? How about I grease up the floor so I can grind your teeth against them? How about I fucking grease up those sexy things? How about I grease up those biceps? How about I grease up those quads? That Shorts. We're gonna move on. Hey, look, it's me. Gulp. We had this situation once against Ditto, who became me. And then I had to fuck me. But then he ended up fucking me. And it was fuck me central. I think we all know how this goes. Uh, it's a a draw it's me versus me uh honestly no other better opponent than me uh to fight me i really think of all the uh the people here i respect me the most me is also pretty humble probably the most humble person on this list as well uh humble guy you know never brags uh probably the strongest fucking person i know but then again he's also against me uh, who's also humble and also really strong and uh also the best on the list. And I think when it really comes down to me versus me, I don't think there's a winner versus me. And I think uh, me and me draw. That's just the way the me crumbles. Metal Mario. Some people might be thinking, beats my fucking ass, but you're right. Blow at the mic, probably. Um, Metal Mario, here's the thing. Um, most Mario places where he fights are beyond fucking epic for no reason they made a game where he's in space why i don't know what i am trying to get at is he fights near fucking water he fights near space and sometimes he fights near lava you want to know what's good against steel hot things you know what's hot lava so he's gonna run at me i'm gonna fucking dodge i'm gonna fucking stiff leg him i'm gonna trip him and he's gonna fall in lava, and I'm gonna watch that fucking metal meltdown. And uh, honestly, you guys are lucky that I don't take this opportunity and scoop up the melted metal of Mario and make him into what could be the greatest sword of all time. And you're lucky I don't use the sword against the rest of the people on this list. So you fucking whelk, shy guy. I think, I think that says the whole, he's too shy. Uh, same thing as Peach. I don't think he's going to want to fight me. And to be honest, to be honest, I'm not going to want to fight him either. So to kind of combat that, because I don't want to fight him, I'm going to make sure it's over as quickly as possible. Uh, probably flying knee, take out all of his teeth, and uh, maybe knee him so hard that, uh, that when his teeth fall out, the knee keeps going through the mouth, and the teeth shoot back to the back of his throat instantly killing him so i don't have to fight him ever again and then business is over next up the fuck is that i don't think this person is in the game no way that's a chunky berry b benson that's not a character moving on this is a caterpillar he's essentially a pokemon but much worse this is the cloud guy that does nothing except say go. Uh, actually, the only thing he does have one thing going for him. So I'm actually going to put uh, worthy opponent here. 
Uh, he has incredible strength, and you might be thinking, look at those dainty little arms. What are you talking about? He doesn't have strength. A couple things. He always has a fishing rod on him, which has fucking mines. The fuck? Uh, he also, don't you forget, when you fall off the map, let's, 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 let's fucking pick fucking Petey Piranha. That thing's got to weigh at least 425. On top of a fucking cart? That cart alone probably weighs another 2,000 pounds. And he comes up to you and goes like this. Back on the map. With, he's a god. He's a god when it comes to his strength. So therefore, we're the opponent. Uh, we ain't got fucking nothing on him. He ain't got nothing on me. That fucking hurt. What the fuck is this? Is this another baby character? God fucking damn it. Also chewing bubblegum. What is up with babies fucking chewing gum? What kind of gum are they chewing? It better be fucking Strive. So I don't think that gum even fucking exists anymore. Uh, pretty easy. I kind of went with the gum strat on these people. So to keep it nice and refreshing, I think with this one, one thing I didn't point about the last couple that I'm going to point about this couple is, or this person, they got a crown out. And I think I could just take that crown out uh, place it on the floor and then put her head on the crown and then fucking uh, bum jump like they do in Mario and fucking boom. Oh, is that is that Metal Peach? Couldn't even tell what the fucking photo was. We'll just put her beside Mario here because I think that's going to be the same scenario uh, with the melting situation. Yeah, I just don't really see another outcome for that. And uh, I'm pretty fire resistant. Uh, as you guys know, I mean... Firefighting is a job, so not only can it be a job, by the way, you can volunteer. You can do that job for free. Fire is no worry for me. Now, I don't know any of these guys' names. I know one's Lanny and Larry, and I don't know any of their names. So they're all just going to be, I don't know, they're all just going to be Jared. They're all Jareds now. And you know what? Let's take them all on at once, I think, because I think they're kind of the same, same, but different. And with that being said, I think if I think if I take them all on at once. I think if I take them all at once, I just get exhausted. And this guy's up here because fuck him. I beat him up really bad out of everyone else. I mean, I pretty much focused him. Uh, but no, I'd probably be exhausted and have a heart attack just from taking out that many guys. It's kind of like a Royal Rumble, um, but to the death. But yeah, I think I think I just have a heart attack after that. Maybe, maybe not because maybe I get a fucking Gatorade after and I fucking get my electrolytes up. Uh, and maybe I come back. I don't know. But I just put a draw. You know, it's like a six on one or seven on one situation. So I think it's kind of fair. Uh, put it this way. If I didn't put them all together against me, you all get, you already know that they would all be in the top fucking bracket there. And uh, it's just not fair. Moving on. We have two Burbies. They get powers too. I don't know what they are though. I don't play the games. But I'm assuming that's some kind of body armor they got got on and punching armor isn't fun it's not fun so we're just gonna move them down here just to be safe like i said i think i think uh if i punched them my fucking wrist would just break um the only chance i have is maybe when i do punch uh my fucking bones explode and it catches them in the eyes but other than that i think they i think they're probably gonna be the best of me now this is link i believe and uh, didn't even know he was a character in this because I thought he belonged in Smash Bros. and his own series. That he has an entire series to himself. But here, here we are. Unfortunately, he does have a sword and bombs and a shield and a bow and arrow. Unless he's an honorable man and he fucking fights me one-on-one. -on -one. Fist combat. Ooh, maybe this is closer than I thought. When I say close, I mean I'm going to take him still. I almost did have him down there, but then a thought went through my head. Link is that kind of guy that's going to just want to fucking end it right there, right? He's not going to want to fuck around. He's not going to want to beat around the bush. He already knows my history with uh, who I've taken out, and he's like, this is my time. Uh, I'm not going to, you know, sleep on this guy, and I'm going to go hard. So what he's going to do 
You know when sometimes you're playing dodgeball or you're in a snowball fight and they throw something at you and then you fucking do one of these? You 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 take the the fucking velocity and you come with it and then you catch it. And by the time you catch it, you're loaded up and you fucking throw it back. It's those bombs. He's gonna instantly throw a bomb at me. I'm gonna catch the bomb, fucking hook shot, duck to cover, blow him up. He should have come at me with the sword and shield and it would have been fucking easy breezy. Beat me so fucking bad he ended my career. But I don't think he's up here. You know what I'm saying? Villagers. Might as well take those guys on at the same time. We've done it already. I think once again, if I just pull guard, maybe get one in a fucking triangle choke. If I get fucking one in a fucking triangle choke, right? And then the other one comes on top, I fucking point my toes up. And I grab her head from behind. Or his, depending on who's up on who. And I suffocate them. Mouth of her foot. And just fucking hold them there. Double suffocation. And you learned that one from me. So if you guys go to fucking some kind of tournament. And you do that move. You fucking give me that. You, you give me the fucking credit. You're welcome. It's a dog. I don't even know who that is. Ah, finally. Hammer bro, someone with some fucking, now this guy, if anyone's got some dog in him, this guy, this guy, yeah, I don't want to fuck around with him. He fucks everybody up. And uh, I think he's one guy that really deserves this spot, probably more than anyone. He's got fucking infinite hammers in that shell of his, somehow. Don't know how he fits that many in there with his body. Not sure how that's even comfortable. But I know he has infinite of them, and the set, they, they just fucking, they graze your fucking toenail, and uh, I've heard it just downs you instantly. I don't know what kind of fucking magic, sorcery he's got going on, but uh, I don't fuck with hammer bros, let's just put it that way. I just don't really see, you know, I think I gotta, I think he gets me this time, and then during that time where he does get me, I gotta learn his throwing patterns, what he's doing, and then maybe the next time I can get the better half of him. Uh, but not this time. Not this time. He's, uh, he's... Those hammers are fucking something else. It's like, it's like picture Thor's hammer. This is a groundhog. Um, the only thing he's good for is seeing when winter ends. Or when spring starts. Or in fall. To be honest, I don't know. The guy looks at his fucking shadow, and for some reason the weather changes. I don't know how the fucking thing looks. But that's all he's good for, and there's a Groundhog Day. There's a full day named after him. So, shout out for the extra long weekend. Now, this genuinely just looks like Peach. Or is this like Teenage Peach? I don't fucking know. It looks like the exact same character. We're gonna assume it's Peach and just put her up there, because we already went over that. I don't know who this is. God dang. God dang. No kink shaming. So this is Toad with a funky mine hat. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to put uh, he uh, gets the better of me because of that fucking massive industrial light, which he's probably going to turn on and just absolutely blind me. Probably for life. And honestly, the only reason why he wins is because he's still not strong enough nor big enough to beat me up. Uh, but he's going to blind me and it's probably going to cause me to like throw fucking blind fists. And I'll probably end up walking off the cliff. Uh, but then again, I am also known to have daredevil-like powers when my vision goes. Um, and in counting to that... Have fun looking for coal in hell. Uh, Dr. Mario. Uh, love this game, by the way. Dr. Mario with those pills. Literally S-tier game. Don't even at me. It's essentially Tetris on steroids. It's uh, it's like Call of Duty. But uh, take everything you know about Call of Duty and make it like Tetris. I'm assuming this is a draw because he can probably, uh, you know, poison me with some kind of pill. He can maybe... 
uh, steroid himself up because he's got all the fucking pharmaceuticals there that he would need and he knows all that stuff just behind the desk. So I'm assuming drug wise he might uh, maybe steroid up and beat me up really bad but then overdose on steroids. I might beat him up and then he, as he's fucking dying, he fucking shanks me in the neck with a needle that kills me. I don't know. He's a doctor and I just assume that's how doctors fight in real life. And uh, I think he's uh, not to be slept on. Uh, we got Diddy Kong's girlfriend. Don't know what her name is. Uh, not sure she has to offer. So uh, I'll put her up there with Diddy Kong. Oh, let's beside. There we go. There we go. We also got two of this. I want to point this out. We have like the same hairstyle. So I feel like the first 20 minutes would just be us fucking yanking each other's hair for a while. But then eventually I would yank just hard enough uh, where it hurts her more. And then I fucking take her hair. And I don't know if you've seen this movie, uh, Avengers, where Hulk fucking with Loki goes like that. But I'm fucking holding ponytail. But yeah, she could have done the same to me. So don't fucking come at me. Look, I want to fight. And if you don't think I'm going to try, a fight's a fight. She could have done that same shit to me. All right? Fucking see you comment section. I don't know who this guy is, but he looks like an absolute weasel. Uh, so I'm just going to put him in draw because no idea what that guy has to offer. But he looks like a rat fuck. This is literally a giant bomb. This is literally Harry Potter if he looked like a Koopa Troopa. Pretty sure there's a spell in Harry Potter that just kills you. Uh, which what does surprise me. It's fucking a spell. So I'm sure there's a spell to like turn me into a fucking chicken egg and then just eat me. I don't know. It's fucking spells. I don't know how far spells go, but he's a wizard. It's an actual football player. Where the fuck are they coming up with these characters? Um, he's got armor, but uh, I feel like I could just bring out the fucking, um, you know, like a bowl. And they got like a red fucking tarp. Give her one of these and fucking boop, cartoon. And there's like an anvil behind there. And he's probably going to give himself a concussion, uh, break his spine, and pretty much all of the, the L, L1 to fucking L, whatever, in his spine just fucking shatter opposite directions all the way from the top of his head to the low spine. And he's done so. Sorry about your college career. Pac-Man! Now this guy's pretty cool. I think Pac-Man, me and Pac-Man, we go for a split decision. This guy fights ghosts for a living, and it's actually the one thing I can't beat. Um, and he does that for a living. Um, so it's really cool. Uh, I really respect Pac-Man, but he kind of gets boosts from like cherries and apples And there's gonna be no cherries where we fight. So it's gonna be mono y mono uh, So I think I just ended up beating him because he can't eat you know, much food stations So I think it's a split decision and uh, I don't really want to go out too much farther I think just Pac-Man is a solid guy. Honestly, I'm assuming this is his wife I'm just gonna put her in the same spot. I'm assuming, you know, she's got like a side business working with ghosts as well uh, I'm not sure what her power-up situation is, but I'm, I'm assuming she's just somewhere the same as Pac. Fuck boy, this is a ghost again. So we might as well put him beside the other fucking ghost, because we know how that goes. Ghosts are so OP. I'm not sure what this is, but this looks like one of those clocks you see with the fucking, you know, with the waving arm. That's what this looks like. I don't know what this is or who this is or what game they're a part of. Don't know their name. Um, we'll call them Clarence. Um, too much on... What is that? What the fuck is that? Um, and lastly, another character I don't know. Looks like a fucking can of wet ham. What is this? That's not a real character. That's literally a fan-made character. I don't know. It's a fucking can of sport. It's fucking tuna. It, it looks like a fucking soda can if it was sushi. What the fuck is that? I don't know. But whoever it is, sorry. You're getting an absolute fucking ass whooping. And with all that being said, that is today's list i gotta say it's pretty much exactly how i thought the list was gonna go uh i didn't expect me to have any in that blue section down there but we got three down there uh i i kind of lost way more than i was hoping to today if i'm being completely honest with you but you know i thought i played really fair today um uh, i thought i was uh, being a little more generous than i usually am and uh, I think that I think when it comes down to it, I could have fought a little more greasy. Uh, I could have fought a little more tough, but I decided I kind of wanted to give these guys a better chance than the Pokemon. Uh, with all that being said, if you guys haven't checked out our other series on Crimson Black, make sure you guys check that out. We have Portal series with me and Lone Star. We got Half-Life with Shifty. We got 
uh, Jackbox games with the entire crew, so go check those out. Those are really good fun. Um, I also have my own YouTube channel now where I solo react to metal music. Uh, the username of Daddy Goose underscore CB. It's literally just the Crimson Black logo with a goose on it. <laughs> so go check that out. I've uh, been having a really, really fun time over there, and I'd really appreciate if you guys go check that out. And with all that being said, uh, leave a comment down below on what game or things you want me to, to fuck up next. Anyways, with all that being said, have a good one, guys. I'll see you next time. Daddy Goose out.